So a while ago, I was rigging Mogurts for Fox Sports and I ran into an issue with this Mogurt right here. So as you can see, we have a simple Mogurt, we have this text and the team background color and everything looks fine until you switch teams. So if I go to something like Australia, right away you notice that we do have a problem right here. The text is white, the background is yellow. And because of that, it's really hard to see the text. I figured out a way to basically look at the background color so I wrote a code that looks at the background color and based on the brightness of the background of that color, it will choose either white text or black text. So right now, if I go with, let's go with Spain. Right away, you can see the background is red. So automatically it looks at the background, it's darker. So it's gonna go with the white text. But if I reverse the colors over here, if I go with the yellow background, right away it catches that it looks at the background and it gives me black text so that's what i'm going to show you how to do in this video for this example i'm going to use this sports bumper that i created back in 2020 for adobe stock and this thing has everything we need to solve the same problem as you can see we have team name we have the city of the team and then we do have this bar right here that is branded to that team and in this case as you can see it does create a problem it's yellow and the text is white so it's really difficult to see we do have other made up teams Teams as well and as you can see similar issues as well so I'm going to show you how to solve that using expressions but before I do that I do want to briefly mention that you can get this template right here this motion graphic template on Adobe Stock's website just go over here I'll include the link at the bottom of this video in the description where you can download things like the lower third we have this open that I created and I'll show you what that looks like in 3d here in a second then we have like a transition that we do have this like sports bumper which by the way that's what I'm using for this example and and we do have another transition. So let me show you what that looks like in 3D. This is Blender. If you're new to Blender, it's super awesome. It's a free tool, very powerful. So this is what it looks like if I play from here. As you can see, nothing dramatic happens. We have some lights that are turning on, but that's about it because everything is all about those camera angles. As you can see, we have camera one, two, three, four. So let me show you what that looks like with those cameras turned on. So if we go to camera one, it's like a shot from the top, then shot from the bottom. Notice we do have a camera shake. You can't have a 3D sports motion graphic bumper without any kind of shakes. And we are back in After Effects. So let's fix this issue. And for that, we need to go inside of the screen, which I do have a composition that has everything we need here. So we have our text right here. And this text has a property for color, so we can easily adjust it in here. We're gonna actually write an expression for this property. And we're gonna use dark and light colors. So right now, these don't really do anything. We're gonna plug them in in our code. And then we do have this color of our shape that we're gonna use in our code. All right, so I'm going to alt click on a stopwatch on this color property of our text and immediately it's going to create this code which means that this code is now driving our color property and in here we're going to create some variables the first one is going to be called input color and it's going to be the fill color right here so this yellow one right there i'm going to say dot value on the next one we're going to create another variable we're going to call it dark color and it's going to be this dark color and then on the next line we're going to create another variable we're going to call it light color and it's going to be this one right here. So then I have all of my controls, all of these in our code. So now we're gonna do something with it. So the next variable I'm gonna create is gonna be called brightness. And I'm gonna paste this formula. And essentially it, it basically takes the input color, which is the yellow color right here, the color of our shape, and it determines the brightness of it. So it goes from zero to one, which means if it's zero, that means it's black. If it's one, that means it's super bright, like white. So based on that, here's what I wanna do. On the next line, I'm gonna ask a question in a variable. So we're gonna say, is bright? And basically I'm gonna say, hey brightness, since you go from zero to one, I want to determine how bright you are. I'm gonna say you are bright if you go past 0.5. So if you go past the half mark of the brightness. So if you go past that, you're bright. If you go lower than that, then you're not. So I'm gonna say if you are bigger than 0.5, then I'm gonna consider you bright. With that, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say is bright. If is bright is true, which means if it goes past 0.5, then I wanna do the following. So I'm gonna say I want for the text color to be dark color but if it goes below 0.5 i want for the text color to be light color 
And just like that, it will automatically change the color of our text based on the color of our shape. And we can test this out. Let's go to the previous comp here. Let's pick a different color. So let's reverse the two. So I'm gonna say primary, secondary. And as you can see, the text color will automatically go to white because the background is darker. We can pick a different theme, maybe like Cobras. So right now it goes to white, but if I reverse the colors, it's gonna go to black. So it's working like a charm. I hope you found this useful, but until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.